So listen, y'all, we've been watching this whole thing play out with Megan and Tori since back in July. We all know the story for the most part. Megan, Tori, and Megan best friend Kelsey uh, got pulled over by the police. But wait, I don't know if Tori's bodyguard was there. I cannot confirm if there was another person in the car and if it was or wasn't Tori's bodyguard. What we can confirm is that it wasn't Megan's bodyguard because he confirmed that via Instagram, you know, basically back when it happened. So anyway, they were riding in Hollywood Hills and the police were responding to a call about gunshots in the area. So they pulled them over. Now, initially, the police reports stated that Megan had a foot injury um, that was caused by glass, a piece of glass in her foot. But sometime later, after being pressed by bloggers and just people on social media, Megan, I guess she felt like she had to defend herself. So she did come out to publicly say that Tory Lanez did shoot her in both of her feet and that she lied to the police to protect him. Now, I'm not going to lie. Me, myself, I was skeptical of the story from Jump because the industry, they'd be pulling too much stunts too many now i'm not saying all but a lot of people in the industry be pulling stunts aka cloud chasing to promote new projects attract attention and things of that nature also the details that were coming from lapd and megan was inconsistent in my opinion i still don't know if megan got shot in one foot two foot three foot blue foot i ain't pressed about it either i'm just saying i ain't seen megan feet since July. Her feet is strategically cut out of her photos, videos, and all of that unless it was pre-filmed. And that's not to say that Megan is not a victim. Something obviously happened to her that night. My thing is, is when I pick up on inconsistencies in a story, I become skeptical. Um, if I believe someone is embellishing, I become skeptical until I have a reason to not be. Um, anyway, Tory, for the most part, has kept his silence amid the accusations. But he say he got time today in the Instagram post. Anyway, let's see what Tory talking about. And I'm too inquisitive to not see. And, 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 and where in the hell is Kelsey? Now, for the most part, it's been crickets around this bitch for Kelsey. Do you hear me? I heard Holly a peep out of Kelsey. I mean, she liked a few posts that people were posting about the situation. But other than that, Kelsey hasn't said anything. Um, it looked like you could fry Popeye's chicken sandwich on this child head. But um, they cute or whatever. Now, I also just want to mention real quick that uh, Hollywood Unlocked reported that Kelsey was allegedly dating Tori and that's the reason why her and Meg got into it because they both found out that they were dating him. Now, I don't know why people act like it's a surprise that Megan was dating Tori. When we saw those videos on Instagram months ago, you can tell that there was something going on with them, but that video was awkward because Megan, she looked like she was irritated with him but like she was messing with him, but like she didn't want to give off that impression. Child, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. To me, it wouldn't be far-fetched if Kelsey was dating Tori, but I'm going to reserve my opinion until I get more information regarding that. Now, let's get into what Tori had to say. So Tori posted on Instagram, to all my fans, I'm sorry for my silence, but respectfully, I got time today, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So after he posted that, I'm like, oh, yes, about to be lit. 
You feel me? I'm like, I'm an upcoming, uh, up and coming um, YouTube content creator. So I'm like, this is going to be some good content. So you know what I'm saying? Let me make sure my child is straight, ready for school, dinner is done. Everything is in order because while we're waiting on him to come out and speak, I'm going to start making my video. This is what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? And then when he goes live, I'm going to screen record and then I'm just going to add that to my video. Wipe the bam. Done. This is what I'm thinking. <laughs> so anyway, I got all my, you know, my little extracurricular activities going on. I'm relaxed. I'm cool. So this ninja comes out approximately five minutes before we believe that he's going live and he says this there is a time to stay silent and a time to speak i said all i could say on this all platforms in five minutes so i'm thinking that he said he said all he could say so did i miss it and I'm like, oh, he didn't post his baby pictures, so he and his feelings, that mean he didn't have to dig deep. He about to, you know, he about to spill all the tea. And then I'm like, wait, all platforms in five minutes? That sound like a, somebody dropping an album. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Tori been bamboozled me along with the whole freaking internet like you got to be crazy like that's why i said in, in the beginning of my video that i take what a lot of these entertainers say with a grain of salt because they be on too much clout chasing that's what makes me skeptical but i i really fell for this one i'm thinking tori about to come out and speak but anywho so he obviously didn't come out he was promoting an album um the album dropped on spotify and he basically wanted everybody to go get the album to see what he said you know what i'm saying i'm not buying the album but i do have some um excerpts that i'm gonna read to you guys that are from his album now all of them are not in complete order but it's basically, you know, summing up what he's trying to say. He's basically saying he didn't do it. He didn't shoot Megan Thee Stallion. So let's go ahead and read some of these verses from the song he dropped. I am used to the bread, my nigga. Watch me rise. I'm watching niggas analyze me. How you protecting me, but made this whole plan to fry me. Since the event, you never called me. But you can't deny me. If you got shot from behind, how can you identify me? It's funny how you got these little foo foo for black little juju niggas talking Zulu. Could have made shooters make a move like it's Hulu. But who's these new niggas talking, bopping, and popping shit? But got less than four accomplishments. I got way more to lose than you do. Uh, watching the industry try and hold you. Asian doll talking but shorty, I don't know you. I never met you, nor have I heard a song. And nor have I seen billboards, see your name in any cert or song from out your catalog. Oop, the hat is off. Behind that tattered skin, you battered with scattered scars, but I still respect and help you. Just don't treat me like you see me out in public. Like how that 1942 from College House still got you talking crazy. F a hell a handshake from niggas. The past months, the energy been mad fake from niggas. Pull out, lift up, bring saran wrap. Talents gifted up. And if I drop this shit for a second, I'm back to pick it up. Unapologetically, jumped inside a pool and Kylie's face was looking heavenly. And though I'm innocent, they got this picture painted heavily. I pray that God remember me. Faith and turn all my situations to a melon tree. Uh, J.R. Smith is the pot that pissed. And you the last cat that should talk about some shots that hit. Cause your performance and percentage player. Rolling, riding, benches, nigga. I'm from the trenches, nigga. You the type to buy a chick at 80 inch and still won't get an inch up in her. Well, damn. Now, I feel like Tori is oversaturating the song with the word nigga. So, I'm going to change some of these niggas to ninja. You know what I'm saying? And we just going to keep pushing. So, 
He says, seeing certain ninjas hating, like how this ninja hating. I done gave these people so much speeches, made these ninjas famous. This was on the blog saying, oh, they was on the blog saying I'm canceled from this entertainment. I was on that Spotify like 30 million monthly listeners. I'm effing going crazy. And my fans support me brazy. Everything I do is for you. I promise I'll be on it daily. I got nothing but love to spread, but ninjas hate me. Hurt my heart to see them Twitter figures come from Kalani's and Cash's pages. Now, I'm not sure what he's talking about with Cash, but I do know with Kalani, um, he had a song with Kalani. And after this whole thing happened with him and Megan, Kalani did go public and say that she took him off the song. So he probably feels some type of way about that, but um, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm at the head spraying hard like a spritzing ninja, bagging ninja's ex chicks off an instant picture. Hoes roughing through the sands like a Kinston ninja. Yeah, contradictions in your lines with domestic pride crimes. We still have yet to find mines. Anytime I bought these chicks up, you stressing it five times. How you try to kill the cat and then forget them nine lives? Cause he watching me all on the news, but I ain't charged with no cases. Say the owner say my case is looking crazy. How the F that ain't even make sense? Blue times turn to past tense. All I want is straight cash. Ninjas say I lack sense. Star player hairlines coming from the back bench. Killer be killed, that's the reason I don't have friends. Ninjas lying on the crody. Ninjas say I'm deported. Oh, now I'm 5'3? Niggas saying I'm a shorty. <laughs> but little bitch, I'm 5'7. Money on me sidestepping. Now he just had to throw that in there that he was 5'7 and not 5'3. Uh, I digress. I digress, Tori. Trying to keep this shit 200 with you, shorty. I can't prove it, but them people in your ear, like they the true ones that I fear. What you talking about, Tori? You talking about? What you talking about, Rock Nation? They really got you thinking. Tori Lanes would do you in for real. Don't forget you was my biatch. I held it down and kept it real. I would never paint no fake picture of you just for some meals. And I thought you were solid too. But look at how you doing me. Look at how you doing me. People trying to ruin me. And what's even worse is I'm still thinking about you and me. How you gonna how you going live my birthday with all your jewelry to try to make a fool of me? You know what? Y'all, that came from a heart. I felt that Tori meant what he said. He meant that shit. But I love you so hard, so I'm a coolie B. Cause I was cool and right with Cuban B. That was a stupid me. Somehow I'm still down to re renegotiate the unity. My heart is some foolery. The shit is just confusing me. Well, damn. So that's it for today, you guys. Uh, I did not post the whole song, Money Over Fallouts. If you want the whole song, you can go purchase it by any means. That's your choice. I just wanted to get an overall uh, idea of what Tori was talking about. Basically, he's saying that he didn't do anything and that he's not guilty, that Megan's team is trying to frame him. So basically, I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if you believe Tori, if you believe he's guilty, if you believe that he's telling the truth. Post in the comments below. Let me know. Once again, thank you for hanging with me at Stay In Tune TV. Please share this video. Please subscribe. And you guys, as always, stay blessed, stay safe and out the way. And until next time, take care.